lo alejo y realizarte. la parrilla, quítame esto que me salió que no estaba ahí. ¿Aquí me espalda? Ya. Let's take a look. Um, During the consultation, we're looking at a couple different things. Um, you know, she doesn't have any children, so but we're always looking to see. You know, when we're looking at the abdomen, we're looking at one if there's any you know amount of loose skin that's there. Um, we're looking at the amount of fat that's there, and you can see you know she's she's got a pretty good skin tone. She does have some some fat that's here. She has had prior surgery, so you know we're always looking at if there's any hernias in the area especially in people who've, who've had a prior surgery because if there's a hernia in the area, you know, we may need to fix the hernia before we do the, the liposuction or, you know, it may need to be fixed by a general surgeon depending on how bad it is. So, you know, we're looking for anything that's going to potentially cause a problem during the liposuction. Because if, remember, you know, in, in her case where she wants liposuction with the fat transfer, the, um, you know, all we're doing is making tiny incisions. You know, there's two tiny little incisions very low. There's one on the belly button and one underneath um, each bra. They're about four millimeters. With those incisions, we're taking our cannula and we're removing all of this fat. Any sort of a hernia that, that could be undiagnosed could be a cause for injury. So it's very important, the, the physical examination. And that's why, you know, even when, when patients are coming from out of state and they send those photos, it's never 100% exact until I actually get to, to lay my hands on her. But, you know, she's got good skin tone. You know, she definitely does have some fat. She's got no hernias over there, so, so she's pretty good there. You know, the goal is to get her abdomen nice and flat Mm -hmm. you know, because the goal is, you know, we want to get this nice sweep there. With the waist, we, we want to lipo all this over here, get rid of all these rolls, get rid of all these rolls, and bring this in. So she, this comes into a nice hourglass shape, like this. Oh get, that, get that curve here. You know, getting that curve here and bringing this in, adding a little bit of fat to the hips, and adding some fat to the buttocks, is, is going to take care of her, of her whole problem, get her a nice tiny little waist, la cintura, and, and get a nice shape for her, for her buttocks. You know, the main thing is with the fat transfer. You know, we're taking fat from different areas of the body and we're moving it into her, her normal tissue. The only way that fat's going to survive is if the normal tissue, her normal buttocks, is going to grow new blood vessels into the fat that we put there. That's about 40, 50, maybe 60% of the fat that we put in there will survive. So very important that I like my patients for the first 10 days not to sit, not to apply any pressure to the buttocks. Um, I think that's the kind of key period that's going to give the, the most ability of the fat to, to grow into the fat that we put in there from the normal surrounding tissue. We also layer the fat in multiple different layers throughout the normal tissue so that you know you just don't have big globs of fat, once again, to allow the most amount of, of ability for that fat to survive. We do have a, um, I, I do use the vaser a lot. I, I recommend it in everybody. It's an ultrasonic assisted liposuction. What it does is that, it's the same thing as regular liposuction. There's an intermediary step, meaning you know we put a probe underneath the skin that goes through all the fat that shoots a sound wave all the way around. That probe helps to um, break up the fat into smaller pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. There's um, less bleeding. Mm -hmm. There's more contraction of the skin. It allows me to be a little bit more aggressive. So something that I, I always like to use. I think the patients get a better result. They get a smoother result. They get better contraction of the skin. I listen not very well. And I can yeah. and I can really you know sculpt and shape and kind of chisel out the body to where we need it to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know I just find that it, you know the patients recover faster, less bleeding, less okay. bruising, less blood loss. Always a better thing to use. Oh, okay. Thank you. So.